leader. Obviously a very tough way to end the fight. And you, you can see the signs of it on your face right now. How are you feeling? I'm um, just gutted, Sean. I wasn't lying when I said to you in the, in the interviews during the week that, that I actually felt amazing. I have no injuries. I've been training really hard. I felt amazing there. You could, I think you could see it even in me. I was enjoying it. I was, I was enjoying this for once. Normally, the last few fights, because I know I haven't trained, the pressure is almost crushing me when, when people are singing the song, to be honest. I know I'm not ready. Whereas this time I was ready. I was ready to kill him. And you could, I think you could see it. I was actually enjoying it. And I was going to kill him. I'm just sick now. I'm, I'm, not, I'm just sick over it, to be honest. I, I, I'm, I felt like my eye had exploded when it happened. It was just unbelievable pain. And I, I actually looked out at John and, and he kind of like made this face. I thought I'd lost my eye, to be honest. But thankfully, it's just, it's just a really bad scratch in my eye, deep in my eye, and, and there's a bad cut on my eyelid. Um, so I'm okay, but I'm just very disappointed. That's good to hear, Peter, that it'll, uh, it'll be better soon. But I suppose in the fight itself, the, the debate we were kind of having cage side, whether, whether it was intentional or not intentional, was it a no contest as it was or a disqualification? What's your opinion as the person in there? I don't care. I, I'm, just, I'm just really disappointed that the fans got shortchanged. I don't really care about me getting a cheap win for that. That doesn't mean nothing to me. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't care at all. And I, don't, I, know he did, I don't think he meant it. I haven't seen it, but he doesn't seem like a bad guy to meant it or anything. I'm just really disappointed for the fans. And then disappoint, disappointed for myself. I was, I was so ready for that one, Sean. I was really, really ready. And it's, it's hard, you know what I mean? When you've... Ah, I'm just sick over now. I'm just... I felt like I was going to KO him stiff, like I felt really good, even in the dressing room, everything, I just, everything was perfect tonight, and it hasn't been perfect for a long time, you know. Do you feel like you want to turn this around, maybe get him again, maybe come back, there's rumours they're coming back again in February, would you like to face him again here maybe in February and try to recreate it? Yeah, I don't know, whatever, someone, I just want to, I just want to have a camp like I had again and fight someone and show people that I'm still a force to be reckoned with, because I think people have kind of wrote me off, to be honest, I've been... I've been very down about it, that, that people kind of think I'm gone almost. And that, that really actually uh, made me feel good. The, the fans weren't sick of me, you know what I mean? They, I, I felt like even though the crowd wasn't as full as it normally is, that perhaps felt like one of the best actual receptions I got, which made me feel really great. Um, and I was actually, I was kind of worried about that because I, I felt like think people have gone a bit cold on me lately. And I just wanted to show that I'm, I'm still there and I'm still, I'm still able to fight anyone and beat anyone when I can actually train. You mentioned it there, but talking about the, the walkout, you, like, I could see it sitting there cage like you soaked it in a lot more than you normally yeah. would. Like, did you do that because the reaction was so good or was it something you kind of had planned to do? It, it just happened because I think I was just enjoying myself because I felt ready. That's, I didn't plan to, I don't plan to do anything. I just kind of walk out and, and, and see what happens. But I think this time I was just enjoying myself because I actually felt like, I, I truly felt like I am just going to cut you in half. I was looking at him and I was like, you don't have a chance here against me. I, I, I've trained and I'm, I know how I perform in sparring and that I'm, I'm ready for this now. I think that's why I was enjoying it, that I was just like soaking it in, just going, this is going to end well tonight. Do you know what I mean? I think, I think that's the reason. Just repeat that when the crowd dies down here one sec, will ya? It's a bit like a retirement fight tonight. Right. Is that something you have in mind? Or are you someone who wants to fight for years to go? Um, I, I'm aware it's probably coming to an end at some stage in the near future, but no, I, I do want to keep fighting. I probably did want to retire after the last fight, or even after the Ben fight, because I was so banged up, and I, the surgeries weren't healing, and I, I just felt like I'm done. But this time, I actually, I didn't feel like I was done. I was, you know, when you're on the training mat with all these 22 year old guys and 20, 25 year old guys in a prime, and you're, you're perhaps the best guy still. This is not something that makes you want to retire. So, you know, I wasn't really, this time I wasn't feeling like that. I felt like I've got many more years left in me. It's, it's possible, I, I, I would probably like to do 170. 
I felt I felt better at 170, even training for the for the fight and things. Um, I've got a very good record at 170 in my career, so I'd probably like to do another 170, but not right off 155. I can make 155 easily as well. Done.